like one thing is I sort of obviously I was like one of the few you know black people like in in Goldman at that time and I sort of observed you and one thing is you were very active as Latinos in Goldman you were very active in the LGBT community you were very always true to yourself at the same time you weren't like sort of angry like you know I have a lot of friends that you know now they're sort of more and more getting becoming more like activists and you know you spend a lot of time sort of like fighting with like proud boys on twitter you know inevitably you know you yourself start being hateful you know i'm being closed minded so one thing i would like to sort of understand is how do you manage that how do you manage being true to yourself and understand that you might get attacked for your identity but you're still open and you're still willing to connect with anyone well, thank you. Thank you for saying all that, Gregory. You, you and I were among a, a handful of people of color at, at Goldman. And there again, I would, I would thank my mom and dad. They understood anger, right? My, my mom would, would talk about how it was that she and her family, when she was growing up, were, were all they could think of was getting themselves out of the barrio. And then they finally bought a tiny little house and then the city came and built the sewer plant immediately next door. Mm-hmm. And that was that for the value of their house, right? She's, she's angry for sure. And she would talk about it a lot as a central event in her life and we've been through it you've been through it i've been through it right the people who would say um oh well i mean this actually happened i remember when i when i uh, was applying to colleges one of my dad's colleagues asked which ones i was applying to and which ones i got into and my dad answered and and he said well my my daughter would have would have gotten into but she didn't have the right last name you know there's there's always that nonsense out there and much, 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 much worse. Um, but my parents raised me in such a way that I understood, okay, anger is part of the human condition. And being angry, uh, unless it's righteous wrath that's turned into action, is a complete waste of time. And, and the best kind of uh, action uh, and my mom would always say, this is just be an example yourself, be successful yourself. That's the, the greatest contribution you can make to other people of color. So if they, if other people of color think that there's a glass ceiling, show them that it's, there isn't one. And my mom would always say, you're Latin to get half as far, you're going to have to work twice as hard. And I don't want to hear a single complaint. You better just get busy. And then when I came to realize that I was gay, I, I took that to me, whoa, gay in Latin, two strikes. You know, probably have to work 10 times as hard to get one tenth as far. And I think that that, that served me really, that served me really well. And I just not, I'm just not an angry person. And nor do I think it's a good luck, nor do I think most of the time, like that arguing, I feel like it would just diminish me and not give me anything I want, not give me peace of mind and certainly not make me richer. And so why, why pour any effort into it? Why not pour my efforts elsewhere? But I'm seeing the same thing, the, the same phenomenon that you describe. Um, I'm seeing my own family. Um, we're getting COVID PCR tests and having some people over uh, for New Year's. and. And I have a niece who she, she, she lectures all of us on how we are insufficiently Hispanic and how we don't understand race relations and she's going to explain it all to us. And it's so extreme and so unpleasant that I seriously consider not inviting her, you know? And, and sometimes it's appropriate and sometimes it's not. And so if on New Year's Eve, she starts lecturing us. I'm gonna just say, I understand that, um, that you're angry and this is my house and I'd like us to change the topic 
right now. <laughs> and so, you know, there, there's a time and a place for it. I don't know if I really answered it. It's just uh, some of my thoughts on the conversation. It was very, it was very powerful. And I, I think our moms are very similar. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Maybe we had the same mom. <laughs> Maybe so.